from um, my very close friends, family, obviously my colleagues, um, my friends have obviously, obviously left work early, have come down, and members have actually come here to uh, to facilitate uh, the opening or uh, the launching of this of this book. It's um, a bit ironic that uh, the book was actually born on Facebook, as a lot of you know, because I used to put up quotes there, people used to <coughs> comment on it, and then suddenly people were like, why don't you just write a book? And obviously, if somebody says something on Facebook, you have to do it. You can't go back. So that's when actually you know, things started getting together, and then you know, the book uh, came out. Um, on the whole, uh, you, know, a lot, you know, obviously, a lot of people who are there in the book are very inspirational. My father talked about Muhammad Ali. Uh, there, there's mentions of uh, Princess Diana and mentioned a few other inspirational characters. But um, I've never met any of these people. I've never met, never got the opportunity of meeting Sir Winston Churchill, never got the opportunity of meeting late Princess Diana, neither Muhammad Ali, neither Dilubai Mani, or none of these people are mentioned around me. So instead of that, I've been fortunate that I was able to actually absorb inspiration from people around me. A lot of my friends, though it's not, I, I mean, I, I probably can't e explain the exact time when it happened, but I get a lot from them. I get, it's, their enthusiasm, for example, is very, very contagious. Like even the members from uh, Singing of the Dais, um, Peter Bai, I, I get a lot of inspiration from his charm and his ability to put, put words together and make a lot of sense. Then, uh, then uh, Hasin Uncle, if you just look at the string of his accomplishments, that gives you so much inspiration that you feel like you have so, have so long to go. And that's why you keep actually going ahead and trying to make sure you don't lose focus on what you need to achieve. My father, his determination and never say that attitude is something which always inspires me. Now, I don't wake up in the morning and say, now do you inspire me? It doesn't work like that, right? Neither does he wake up in the morning and say all these nice things about me. But I think it's occasion like this where you're actually in a position where you have where you have to talk about the person, that all these things, amazing things about them come out. My mother is there, she's an extremely, extremely strong person. And our value systems are very important. Like when we were growing up, things like please, thank you, all these were so important that you better you I mean you better say these things. It's very, very important that, that you do. And that helps you in the London. Initially you're like it's such a small thing, but then it helps you in the, in the long run. Then, not, uh, then uh, my brother has always been more of a friend uh, than a brother to me, as I mentioned in the book. And uh, fortunately for me, we share a very good relationship where we, are, we, we can criticize each other very, very comfortably. Boss is working or this is not working. We, all, we end up arguing on a lot of things, things we don't agree with. But at the same time, that's what, that's what makes it so amazing because of the fact that I'm okay with agreeing to what he's saying. Because I'm just saying, okay, fine, what you're saying makes sense, let's do that. And that's what leads to a very productive relationship. As you know, I work with my brother, I work with my dad. At the same time, though we have a lot of disagreements, that's the best part. We, uh, we're, we're okay to disagree and then we, you know, we move on. My sister was there. A lot of the things that, that were, that they, for example, the entire press release was actually drafted by her. I didn't actually think of it, but then when she actually sent it to me, just by volunteer, I didn't realize she was such a good writer. You just don't realize, you know, normally your sister is always supposed to be three foot five. And she never goes up beyond that. But then, you know, that happened and then from the writing, I could, I could tell that she's matured uh, so much, uh, so much more. And uh, so many friends and family. Behind the book, again, uh, I've, I've made it a point to mention a lot of the people who commented on the statuses, who liked the statuses, etc. And every one of their names, up till March, whose our quotes were there, have been mentioned in that. It took literally about four or five hours to do that, but then, you know, it was well worth it, I think, because, you know, if it wasn't for their encouragement, I don't think the book would have come out, to be, to be honest. Having said that, there are two other people, one is Ipshita and Shubra, who have done a fabulous job with the, with the creators of this book, who I'd like to uh, thank in front of everyone here. There are a lot of people here who are actually from all walks of life, who have come down as, uh, as uh, Peter Uncle was saying, normally book launches are for usually the, you know, the older crowd. But uh, I'm really glad that, uh, well, I'm sure all of you here are, are, are here to support me. But from what, if I'm, from what you can understand, I think, genuinely, I think a lot of people really like the book, which I'm really happy about. Because even if a single thought 